Optimization in predictive analytics allows organizations to solve complex business problems, to achieve maximum results with minimum resources under real world constraints. Let's start with Gartner's definition of optimization. Optimization is a type of prescriptive analytics that finds a best solution from a set of feasible solutions using a mathematical algorithm that maximizes or minimizes a specified objective function subject to constraints. Best is a value or KPI that is either maximized or minimized according to an objective. This could be as simple as a measure of profit or loss, it can be something more strategic or complex like the measure of risk. Where optimization really becomes valuable is being able to understand how to achieve the objective within the parameters of your business or real world constraints, making it a feasible solution. Let's take a look at the maturity of the business analytics disciplines that have evolved according to the value they provide to business. Firstly, descriptive and diagnostic analytics. This is really traditional business intelligence or reporting, telling you what has happened in your business, what is working or not working. There have been advancements in this area with exciting new visual tools, making reporting available to business users to be alerted when KPI conditions are breached or met. Still, it is only providing hindsight. Predictive analytics provides more valuable insight. This can be a binary prediction of an event, for example, fraud, yes or no, but it can also be more complex, like producing a score that represents the level of interest a customer may have in a product or service, or a level of risk associated with a customer engaging with a credit-based product or service. These measures of predicted customer behavior can be used to develop segmentation strategies, targeted marketing campaigns, and an understanding of risk. They are predictions and forecasting. But how do you operationalize these predictions? Today, the most value in analytics comes from the ability to align these predictions for the future with business action. It is key that the alignment supports the business objectives and any planning must also respect all the constraints. This is what we mean by optimization. It gives you a powerful tool to automate decisions in your business. It prescribes a course of action, answering questions such as what should we do and what will happen when we do it. Analysts agree that the next trend in gaining value from analytics will be through optimization. Here we see that according to TDWI research, the value to be gained steadily increases as an organization matures its approach in analytics, from descriptive to diagnostic and predictive towards optimization and prescriptive analytics. This leads us to believe that optimization can add a lot of value to almost any business. Marketing departments have a need to align marketing offers with customers, communicating these through the right channels and at the right time. You may have a list of offers or products as some of the examples shown here. The customers are the complicating factor. There are many different customer attributes to consider. We're considering things like customer preferences, which may allow you to do suppressions, and also propensity to be impressed by offers. In an age of ever-increasing channels, you're also considering the customer channel preference. It is important to pick the channel that the customer has a high propensity to respond favorably to. And you also need to consider the timing. Optimization allows you to solve the decisioning problem of picking the right offer, channel and timing, while also taking into account your constraints. Constraints like marketing budgets, product targets, contact policy, making sure suppression lists are adhered to, and also the capacity of fulfillment houses that you may be using. The number of emails that are contracted to go out daily, for example. Optimization leverages everything known and predicted about customers to ensure that marketers speak appropriately to them, limiting the level of perceived interrupt by minimizing contacts and maximizing message relevancy. In other words, optimization helps organizations to respect the limited resource of customer attention. To make sure that the right channel is chosen, marketers don't just have to rely on suppression lists and what customers have told them they prefer, they can also confer with models to determine which channel customers are most likely to respond favorably to. Finally, regarding treatments, marketers are able to test different messages and communications to understand which work best, and then use optimization to align these with customers. Angos offers both software and services. Our comprehensive software suite caters for data preparation, model building, visualization through our native charts and partnerships with Tableau and Click, to model management and Angos software is known for its easy to use graphical user interface and workflow. Within the Angos Analytics platform, our optimization application is Insight Optimizer, which allows users to perform optimization on model results from any analytical environment, 
to make the most of your resources and achieve the best ROI, to determine the best customer engagement strategy, to automate complex optimization coding, and to solve complex business problems. Inside Optimizer is a standalone application and can be used on top of whatever tools you're already using. And now if you're saying to yourself, this is great, but we don't have the in-house resources or knowledge to tackle this, Angles can help you there too with our range of professional services. Thank you for your interest. The full length optimization webinar is also available to view on demand. If you'd like to access it, click to open the link. Or to find out more, please contact us at sales at angos.com.